Analysis on Ninja versus Dragon. We have another one. Fucking fast forward. This Quite possibly one of the highest level matches I think you can get in our community. Where were these guys coming into this? Ninja Kill was third seed. Dragon was second seed. I'm pretty sure if uh, Ninja went to every event, though he probably would have been second seed. Probably would have been first seed. Who knows? Dragon is. I had a chat with Ninja Kill yesterday. Right. So he betrayed the balance of all. Don't watch things. anime. Okay, here we go. Oh. Beast Coast Dragon. CGL Ninja Killer. Expect right. mayhem right here, but so far, zone zone. Game, All right, bet, bet. We expect from this raid, Cetrion, She is going to be that character. I know this matchup super slow pace, but I'm pretty sure uh, we know Dragon Dragon's Loki got at this matchup, especially considering that. Kind of wins this we'll matchup. 6-4, I think, because he has answered for pretty much everything Cetrion does, and Cetrion has to. She has to tread so carefully. Extra crushing blow requirement ticked off. Liu Kang, very much a character built around those crushing blows. If you fight a Liu Kang in round three and he hasn't used any yet, you are in serious trouble. I always use this term, kind of like a win condition character, and Liu Kang is definitely one of them. Like at that range, she has to EX that, that air beam to not get flying kicked. But Dragon also plays on the fear of him knowing or thinking he's going to EX it, so he doesn't EX it, and then Ninja doesn't flying kick Do you and Pro's hang outside of tournament? Like, do we, like, hang out? Like, go to each other's houses or something? Or you mean, like... Do we like go out to eat wow, at the restaurants in the city or something? Out of my face. He did forward four cancel. Just the first hit of four four though. That's a knockdown. Natural barrier, deceivingly active as a move. One of the best specials in the game, absolutely. But push black. I think this set what went uh, game five. The rush down Ninja Killer is so scary. You just don't want to mess with it. This set. No, that's really good. No, that's really good knowledge from Ninja Killer. If you do hit that air fireball, you can go for a flying. That's Dan Two Staggers was kind of good. Almost like bait with especially since that string has four hits to it. Escape failed. Escape failed. Yes, four throw back throw loaded. Music to Liu Kang's ears. That's a grounded confirm. Keep things unbreakable. Speaking of unbreakable, nice chunk of damage into the restand situation barrier. Close up the startup. They all bows and play for Ninja Killer. That is I, I, all I really, he needs. I really commend the patience for Ninja Killer right here. He's normally known for amazing anti Zone, yet, zone, zone. Gets Dragon hit by a jump kick from Dragon at this health. He might die. Just be really careful. Like I said, he has that fatal blow. He still has that crushing blow. Throw as well. And oh, crushing speaking blow. Speaking of which, oh, oh, just oh, enough. Man. All about going in now, you know, the scariest thing See, like, in those situations, right? it's so it's scary so for Citron, because pretty much anything she does can get punished. Like build so, it's now all about Ninja making the right decision. The if he makes the right guess, he's guaranteed to punish, pretty much. Uh, Fast forward a little bit. Get in your face and just give you a hard time. It's so strong. Even with that one crushing blow, Ninja Killer, absolute surgical with using it in practical gameplay. Just waits for the magic moment, and it takes a lot of discipline to be able to do that. We're going into game number two now, and there's the reversal punish. Flying You've got to watch bro. out for some of those projectiles at range. See, like, he has to use Will that punish. beam if he doesn't want to get flying. Okay. Yeah, How does one twitch down. block? Do you mean? Nice do you mean? Um, Dragon positional advantage again. What do you mean? Uh, you must be the range. Punish. Was it wave dashing? He's no, probably wave dashing. Now that's actually also Ninja Killer's awareness of resources. You notice he doesn't really do many kind of like neutral flying kicks, just like out of nowhere. A lot of these like done on reaction to the boulder stuff and stuff like that. But if he sees you haven't got resources, Ooh, if damage, he would have fucking flying kick, that would have crushed him below. Do, like Why he care? And I'm watching this set right. now because I'm not gonna lie, when I was there, no need to go for I was taking a nap. There with the life that was left. I was taking a hardcore nap. I was I was still in the tournament at this point, so I was taking a hardcore nap trying to sleep. I was so tired. I was so tired, bro. Every time I'm at tournaments, I'm super snooze. Look at that. He flaws blocked the EX part of the wall and flying kick. That's guaranteed punch. If he if he if he, if he blocks the wall and doesn't EX, he can flying kick. If he flaws blocks the EX part of the wall, he can flying kick. So Pretty much everything Cetron does can be punished by, uh, by Luke King. 
And that shows how godlike Dragon is that he made he made this set. What was it? Three two. Last hit or some shit like that. And he didn't even in the matchup like but something that makes this matchup a lot easier for Ninja too is that he can wave dash. Like if Ninja sucked that wave dash in this matchup, it would be a lot more annoying. Ninja chewing that gum hard as fuck. That's how you know Ninja's in his bag when he's chewing that gum hard as shit. That is exactly where we are. It is party time for Ninja Killer right now. Let me turn it down just a smidge. A little defense. smidge. Well, in the recent patch, let's not forget Cetrion. Her far teleport costs two bars of defense. Now, down two. Down two, Crash. Instant fallout. Yeah, they need to take out Breakaway and bring back Breakers. Or low key, not even bring back Breakers. Like, low key, just like. I don't know what they could. Yeah, bring back Breakers, bro. Breakaway is kind of stupid. Be really careful, low fireball, good chunk of damage. What if they just took away the breakaway mechanic just like in general? And just like defensive bar was only used for up threes, up twos, and rolls. Other plans for that dragon's not gonna go for the breakaway. Try to save the bar. Potentially a last lifeline, but that one hurts. Ninja was playing so sweaty. And I'm not gonna lie, when I was at the tournament, oh I was sleeping. But now that I'm looking at this, I would have been like, yo, dragon's about to get 3 0 Dragon's about to get 3 0 but looking at the length of this video, that's not how this set went. Oh shit. So that just shows Dragon to God. Because you're down 2 over some ninja kill and you managed to make this shit game 5, bro. Your adaptations have to be ridiculous because every game that you're adapting on ninja, he's adapting back. So. See if Dragon's able to use the knockdown to guarantee a teleport out. And that is what I was getting at earlier on before I was interrupted by the crushing blow. Uh, was just Cetrion how rude had the game. She had to spend two bars of defensive bar to escape the corner now, which means that Cetrion players, they kind of have to look for some more quirky and innovative ways to escape a corner without spending it all your just pizza. don't work the same anymore. Oh, that, that was a really important breakaway from Dragon. Oh, tagged by the low. A way of interrupting the gap, baiting you Yo, trying to Dragon plays, so he did. Damn, he did three one twos in a row. That shit was plus three, plus three, plus three. Yo, rewind. Why do you think Sonic never does stuff like false block OS? Well, because if somebody baits you false block OSing, you're gonna either get stand two or neutral jump two, which leaves you punishable. I don't think Sonic likes taking unnecessary risks like that especially when the reward is most of the time just like a shitty ass up two punish or up three which leads to no damage sonic's like the best in the world at weighing risk reward so. flying kick out the corner that shit's hella potato i wonder if citron could wake up geyser that shit. But this is scary. I know if Liu Kang tries to do that shit to get out the corner, Jackson can dash punch, oh, and Liu no. Kang can actually wake up on a kick. Oh, oh, like, how do you win this? this like, look at this. Has to pull out a Dragon now. somehow it's managed to make this at 3 2. Oh, oh, look at the deficit. That was a clutch ass teleport. I think I woke up from my nap at right around this point. I'm surprised he didn't see that teleport coming. It was his only option. That was a needle in a haystack teleport. The perfect time. Frames later, that would have been blocked. Perfectly played from Dragon. Fatal Blow is going to be gone, though. And that is quite the thing to lose going into a final round. Better the Fatal Blow than the set, Again, though. twice! Here we go. Grabs. Tries to tech, but remember, grabs. Not so easy. Yo, stream, let me know if, um... The gameplay is kind of overbearing my voice because I don't know if that's the case. He's had some big, big brain reads and has led into this just absolute sequence. He could have flying kicked that, but the threat of EX is why he didn't. So there's no launch. Oh, the patient! You loud as fuck, so it's good. Yo, shut the grab again. Good situation for killer here. He's got so much bar, he has everything ready to go. And we're gonna get even more worried now. Fatal blows and like, one single That's why I hate the flawless block mechanic. Yo, he fucked up. He got an input error and literally lost. Full screen game. 
the wake up roll just to get through. This is the last chance Ninja Killer really has. If he gets one clean confirmed, that's crazy. He got input error and lost. He tries. He tries. I've never but seen Ninja Killer get input errors, so, so that shit's crazy. I wonder if what Ninja's thinking right here. Like, I wonder if he's thinking, damn. It's all good. It's just one game, or if he's thinking, like, fuck. That input errors. I got an input error. I'm tilted. I'm pissed. I don't know if this fool gets tilted, though. Well, I actually know Ninja does get tilted. Ninja gets tilted. Still in Call of Duty mode, my dude? Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm just, like, reviewing a video, so... He went for another one of those kind of like fake outs. And this is the adaptation, right? This is when two players of extremely high level begin to adapt to each other. Dragon made two massive plays off of just teleports at their perfect time. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! Down to crushing blow again. Oh, okay. That's gonna hurt. Dragon going in for big damage here. But we saw before, Dragon got two massive plays off the back of just two neutral teleports at perfect timing. 4800. This, this game started things off by teleporting in place. You know he's trying to bait Ninja Killer into expecting, like the exact same kind of thing right there, right? He's trying to bait Ninja Killer into pressing buttons. Because you can punish the teleport if you appear behind him. If you stay in place, you just make him whiff buttons. But Ninja Killer's not biting. Button for button here. Have to be so careful. Both players. The grab. Oh no. Ninja's grabs are so just good just like i can never like reading ninja grabbing you is such a hard read because he's so good at mixing up his strike throw it's so hard to fucking tell whether he's gonna grab you and, and or throw you but it's always a risk reading him grabbing you because if you if you take the risk and you're wrong then he loads bicycle kick crushing blow but if you take, and also if you take the risk and you get strong on the throw, then you get fucking escape failed. Liu Kang is busted. Look at that shit. That's bad news. Yo, Dragon has no choice but to make a Dragon really difficult comeback in this situation. It's always possible, but it's gonna be tough. Dragon really trying to make the most of these long range buttons. It's one thing Satrion does have over Liu Kang in just the absolute stand up neutral. Standing one goes a lot further than his. Oh, wow, that was dangerous. Absolutely. That could have been an interruption and a half. Right, take some plus frames. Here comes the load of punish. Very punish. That was a ridiculous oh, punish. punish. I don't even know if that punish. punished. Let me go back. Did that even punish or was he just not blocking his feet? Not expecting that punish. Some plus frames. Here comes the load of punish. Oh, that was a punish. Yo, Dragon's kind of sweaty. Hold up. Knowledge. Remember, you can All he got was 23% for that. Got a lot of gas punish, though. Oh, my God, dude. Look at how risky that is. Dragon is Dragon was playing hella good. Dragon has like some crazy ass composure for somebody who Logi hasn't even been doing this long. Uh, doing this this long. Dragon's been competing since like what 2015. Not even that long. Ooh, I'm surprised Dragon didn't whip punish that. That shows the kind of respect. Ninja Killer demands because Dragon rarely uh, misses with punishes, but Ninja Killer whips so rarely that nobody's really ready to catch him on his mistakes. It's just not worth it. Stick out the individual button and confirm it if it comes out. If not, stay safe. But now Dragon again, damage here and there, but he will consistently be out damaged by Liu Kang outside of crushing blows. Goes for the play once more. Has to hold his turn. Scary situation. Back to the wall. And no bar for a Look bar. Look at the of Dragon. He is not pressing anything. <laughs> Individual buttons. Well, from the kill of the grab. That grab was stuff. so fucking good. And sending far away, which will be on Dragon, using it as a chance to find out the corner. Fatal blow. It's locked and loaded. Oh no! Watch out! He really did fake Telly. Telly in place. Oh wait, this. I don't opening, think this was. This, this wasn't. Um. No, yeah, this, this is, I think Dragon took this. That was a good-ass grab, too. I'm surprised Ninja didn't duck that. Yo, Dragon was sweating. Look at Ninja scratching the head, though. You know uh, Ninja's tilted if he's scratching his head or chewing his gum very violently. Because this this is a match that most of us are expecting to see at like every tournament, and it's usually here, right? Sometimes he bites his nails, too. Yeah, of course it's here, but... No one wanted to but Ninja has some crazy ass composure for somebody who's only been competing for what? Just. It's not even been a whole year, right? Probably just 10 months. 
They've kept character and variation all series long, and that I think it really shows the confidence. This is less about the matchup and more just about player versus player right here. He's going to get a knockdown. What's the pressure? Getting hit individually. That's an easy confirm, though. A bit more momentum heavy than we've seen in previous games. Ninja Killer much better for him now. Dragon looking for a whip oh, punish. Oh, no! That was a huge surprise. Another bar spent. That's now Loading two. Loading the crushing blow. Oh, the flawless block! Loading yeah, that motherfucker. But no damage to kill. And Can't believe he did that. Dragon got some, has some underrated reactions. No I always get hit by back. short hop attack. No Don't say never. He's got a fatal blow. I wouldn't write it off. And with the button set to oh. The mobility. This is Cetrion. She's so seen as a zoner, but she has so much more than that. Her foot sees are impeccable. She is a dragon. hybrid through and through. When played optimally like this, absolute hybrid. But then some Keller. long range buttons, a good keep away. He finds can't himself. Win with only one or the other. He finds himself on match point for another time, but so consistently, Dragon has been bringing the set back, kicking and screaming. And now. They just can on, trade. Wait for each other's turn. The the he block. can't lose. Liu Kang's on the Shaolin Monk's machine. Look, he's got that support scene. These two are so ready for everything, oh, like, every little Four scenario. That is almost... Dude, that was a rare this drop a from Ninja. I, even I knew that that bicycle kick wasn't gonna, no wasn't gonna land. Oh, I'm really surprised he fucking did bicycle kick instead of flying kick right there. The gravity isn't good, good enough. Ninja back to back. Oh no, this could be disaster. That fatal blow. You can never count out a full screen set drum with that fatal blow. Least of all dragon. He's fishing for it. Oh, Ooh. Oh, yep. I remember that. Fucking one two privilege. And dragon goes down to they the both played hella good that set though. Ninja Killer versus Sonic Fox in our winners finals at this final Dragon really combat. made Ninja work for that one. I honestly really thought Dragon was gonna win that set. That just the way he was looking. He looking he was looking like match. if there was any really is there if there's ever a better time to win versus Ninja. It was that set right there. In this game. Ninja Killer knows how to really fish for it. The second the fatal blow becomes a possibility. Oh yeah, that's the fucking match analysis on Dragon versus uh yeah, it was two two. It was last. It was a. Uh, it was game five. But yeah, that's the match analysis on Dragon vs Ninja.